and uh, Witness and Workington and Workington opened terrifically well the two tries in the first and six minutes Wilkinson McCorkadale Dougie Lawton brought the try back but they got something in injury time and it's Workington on the left Brisbane knocking on having had a good first half so Workington on the left and substitute uh, Gawley got the try to make it 9-5 and McCorkadale uh, made it 11-5 now the one change in the in the um, with, in the Workington side, let's call it, come on for Bill Pattinson, but Charlton College, Arisma, Wilkins, McCorkaday, McMillan, Walker, Sub, Beverly Banks, Bowman, uh, Blackwood, Gawley, and Patterson. Well, Patterson has been replaced by Les Gawley. We'll give you the witness team in due course. Witness playing on the right in unusual colours of red. David Exeter's in possession. Been a good first half, a lot of good football and a lot of good attacking play and uh, a great crowd from Workington being very happy particularly with the try scored in fact a minute into injury time Lawton who scored the only try for witness I think it was the early start that shattered the Witness with a very good crowd as you can see David Ho is the sub He's on for Alan Dearden, and it's the sixth tackle coming up. Nick George, Welshman Glinshaw. So the witness team on the right uh, in red, the jerseys unusual. Excellent pullback, right, Ashley George Burke, Hughes Bowden. Mills, Elwell, Shaw, Adams, Dearden and Lawton, but there is a sub from there, all going on in number 12. Witness 5, Workington 11, and a penalty to Workington. Half time, scrum, Witness 7, against 6, penalties 4 for Witness, against 5, Workington. Arnold Walker. Pitching it out to Bob Blackwood. Working down third year in final. Last season they beat Wigan 16-13 and in 6-67 they lost to witness. The referee Billy Thompson, one of our top referees who I would imagine will be in running for the Australians. A few Australians here today just to uh, see what they can find out. And Mick Burke, one of the new boys into rugby league, done very well in this since he came into the game. Kicked 34 goals, scored five tries. Eleven points to six. Just between the halfway line and the 10 yard mark, going out towards the clubhouse end. It'll be a, a morale booster. Mick Burke with the kick list, former rugby union. And it's a, a very good shot, but doesn't get two points. Paul Charlton, the captain of Workington, taking it and running like he does, pull out all the time getting to the end of his playing career but still can contribute something for the Cumbrians not having that says Billy Thompson Les Gawley and a special mention to uh, someone in the Exum Hospital bed ward number 10 to John Burke ex-wing player, he did watch him, I'm sure he'll be very pleased about it all, it was Workington standoff, got a rather serious injury, but a lot of people have asked to, me to send regards and have uh, been thinking about him. So John Burke, up there in Hexham, was injured early in the season, his team in possession. Derek McMillan,
Ah, the, the burst was there by Lesgoli. It was a sub, but he's been contributing a lot to this match. And of course, the ubiquitous Arnold Walker to the ex Dewsbury Harry Beverly. Eddie Bowman, halfway line. Workington on the left. The, you know, this match opened at a, a, a cracking pace with certainly a, a rather staggering one for the witness who, of course, uh, having such a very good season. And it was the two tries that went out very quickly. Wilkins, Wilkins in the first minute, McCorkadale in the sixth. But McCorkadale had two shots at goal in the first half. It was right off target. Arnie Walker going the blindside box. Uh, Gus, uh, not Gus Richmond, John Richmond. But knowing Gus so well and all his exploits, that is son John, brother of Beverly. And talking of Beverly, he was coming in to help with the tackle, but Bob Blackwood kept it. The Cumbrians making the tackle. What a lot of spectators with them. Arnie Walker. Harry Beverly. Stand up off. Left it behind him. Well. I wonder what happened with the uh, hooker then. He seemed to be going for it and left it, Alan Banks. Welshman, Grinshaw. ex Neath. They're playing for Wales when they meet the Australian. And we've got a man injured, uh, which is David Exley. There's Jim Mills, big Jim Mills, another Welshman. But... Well, witness feet in Highton, 43-6, Warrington 17-10, Lee 28-14. So that's how they got to this final. And Workington beat Wigan 14-2 and Salford 8-9. And if you think we've left one off, the, the caption, we haven't actually. They had a bye in the second round. So that's got the statistics sorted out. And certainly a very good crowd. And everything to play for in this uh, trophy first played for in 1905 the sub david hell witness had all their matches at home with some neutral ground and in this the usually good Arena, one of the good grounds in rugby league football. A good pass, pushing it out to Malaspe, but a good tackle too. And pinch the ball, John Ridman. John Ridman does a lot of useful work quietly. So in that was an instant, taking the ball. Goo right. That was a pick him. Bowman. Goalie, the sub goalie. Eddie Bowman out, injured. Andy Key coming on to uh, look after him. Workington Town, they third year in the final. First division, played four, one, one, draw, one, lost two. And a very good crowd here and a lot of support from Cumberland. And of course, Witness, one of the best uh, Pollard teams in rugby league. He's uh, he had got some support for Workington, but witness in this last decade have uh, proved themselves to be such an important part in the game of rugby league. Ten minutes gone, half an hour to go. Well, we know who's going to take the Warsaw's Lancashire Cup. This is a position for the big Cumbrian forwards. Good history of in rugby league football working then. Tom Mitchell contributed a lot, who went on tour as a manager here today. A lesson where they've slipped up once or twice in losing possession in either their opponent's line.
Witness on the right, and those of you who used to see them in black and white, they are in red. Got, got color trouble. Stand up, still out to stand up after another little end. Detail one, but going what a good burst. Malaspe. Now still it's right. We haven't seen much of this afternoon. Come back after an injury. One of the fastest men in the business. It uh, grabbed it to the ground. Well, Workington, of course, don't have just the following of Workington. I'm sure all the villagers up there, the Egremont, the Seatons, the Broughton, even the Coles, where I've spent uh, many happy hours talking to the director of football, will be watching this one and it's straight across the ground. The fans, the blue and white, scrums a day. a beautiful pass out but uh, he didn't uh, do it correctly thank you both and the captain on the right witness Peggy Lawton the solitary try scorer scored in the 19th minute incidentally and the goal kick by Burke which brought it to a one point margin 6-5 it looks like it was going to be that at half time but 40 minutes 41 minutes try Get a lot of impetus to start this second half, and so far they've been measuring each other for size. Thank George. Twelve or so yards out. Aspey. And all this distance cost the working turn as a result. Of losing the ball. And I tell you, short one, he's got to take it or he's in trouble and he takes it wild in the Corkadale. The Corkadale, uh, ex Salford University, schoolmaster of the Saddleworth, so I uh, hope his lads don't rip it too much while the goals are missed. Double Now this is the uh, the carrier's job, the fellow who carries the ball away from danger, positional danger, I mean. So see how far they can go. They, go, they, go very, they went very well there. Paul Charlton went without the ball. Arnie Walker, Boxer Walker. Turnness of stuff appearing with the tackling now being evident uh, to make sure nobody starts getting away too much. One or two of the personalities, well, Big Jim Mills on the far side, his little compared, I don't think I like him called little, uh, he's certainly compared to the others, Greenshaw, Greenshaw settled down, ex Neath, Wales Rugby Union. He's taken to the 13 aside. Aye, and Hughes uh, rather was going the other way. Eckford was up with him. George, surname George, Mick Christian. Pull back, Eckersley coming up. Oh, the referee probably got in the way, but uh, it was up to him to avoid it. He the defender, it was almost over with Eric Hughes because he could go to this flight when he gets in full flight. There is no danger here for the Cumbrians. 11 points to 5 for the Cumbrians. 15 minutes gone first half. There's a, an overlap. Right will go outside him if he can. Well, well taken. But fullback Eric Hughes is up. And the six tackles coming up will, will bring relief possibly to Workington. And what a contrasting first quarter of an hour in each half. First half, they were try scored. Second half, being hard tackling, defence has been supreme. And Andy Key coming on to 
gave his attention to Paul Charlton. I think he got uh, a little enough. There, well, there's Big Jim Mills and the little hooker next to him. You can see the hooker going between the two, number eight. Ball possession is very important. And Arnie Walker, crafty scrum half, knows that, I'm quite sure. Never been out of the first team since he signed for Workington. Ken Goodall used to play with his team, a very famous Irish player. And The defences on each side are now being tested, particularly working them, with witness having one or two fast, smart backs if they can get the ball moving with distance. Carlson fully recovered, he came up to join in from Blackwood. Well, it's not a bad kick, but he's gone to, to McBurk, ex-Rugby Union star. Two to two, and the interesting thing between Wright and Cork, the Cork today is very interesting because I would reckon that Wright is the fastest man, but the Cork is a very accomplished football in every respect. Well, as you would say, he went under and he missed. Rick Hughes, Mick George. On the right, a witness. Two half backs helping to submerge the witness attack. The chemics, none of the chemics. Six tackles coming up with coming up fairly frequently now, indicative of the tackling. A oh, nice one to right, but still McCorkadale is to do it on its own out there. I would think if it was a race over 100 yards that I possibly the drive would win, but um, I don't, I've never seen them, so I don't race, but I've seen them run. Nine, nine scrums. Well, right has been out with an injury. This time that might have its effect. Only he will know. Getting the ball is and not retiring. Uh, Walker was getting red boat and the captain was not retiring, though he was offside. Must be. And we said somebody telling him where to kick. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. And there into that lovely stand, and it's gone over the no, it hasn't gone over the back of the ground. It's coming down from the roof. There it is. It's coming down and it's down. Good crowd, beautiful day. Allen Bank getting close to the midway spout of 20 minutes, just over 19 yards. And you can sense now the tackling is just coming a little bit more harder, not necessarily more effective. Oh, good play by Bob Blackwood, the hooker, Allen Bank. Had a lot of fans from Come River, then an awful lot from Witness, a knock on, but advantage. If he knocks on and doesn't retrieve the ball, the opponent gets it for advantage. Oh, that ah, the ball's gone loose. McCorkadale doing very well. McCorkadale doing very well. Danger here, it is not taken cleanly by Eckersley, but McCorkadale uh, is very, very good on that. Taking the tackle and Vaughan's got a position. 20 minutes gone, 20 to go. Allen back injured on the ground. But that was a dangerous thing and a good break by little Elwell there.
Peggy Lawton, international in many countries and been around the scene for a long while. In the coach, too. E.B. Morton. Well, the match is uh, almost contrasting four quarters. The first quarter, we had uh, three tries, and uh, then the second quarter, lesson in the first quarter or so in the second half, has been one of defences dominating the scene. Arnold Walker to feed. And not to receive, going on the line start, out of the short side. The title blind side is the one that the referees are not supposed to see very often, but they do. Winshaw Welshman. Carney Walk, Carney Walk attacking. Tackles everything and sundry. Mills, Big Jim. from Waterloo Rugby Union. A good ball to get from an, an opposed inside tackle. Come in number one. Well, Ray Wilkinson got the first try. He's had three tries in his last two matches. I'm sure they're looking for something now from him. Here's number four. Penalty. Not packing properly. Not locking properly. Got to pull the arm around the two props. The two props have been eight and ten. Hooker number nine. Eleven points to five. Workington, eleven. Witness five. Sixteen minutes to go. The step. Oh, good, good pass. Position is right. Well, witness. To me off Eric Hughes, the man behind the man playing the ball. Peggy Lawton. Typical Peggy Lawton. That way waits and holds and pretends and then lets a long one go. But on that occasion he couldn't. Wigginton leading 11 points to 5, in fact from the first minute they've never been behind. So 3 nil after a minute and 6 nil after uh, 6 minutes. And getting the ball, play on. Charlton used to be able to cut away through these openings. But while he hasn't got the speed of yesteryear, he's got the trap. Quarter of an hour to go, 15 minutes to go. 
can, well, of course they can, whether they will or not, will work it and do the devil. That's final. Third year and looking for inspiration somewhere. Witness. Have that chance to take advantage of the speed of right. David Hull. Oh damn. And not playing the ball properly. And at, at this moment, they're just looking a little bit dejected. I saw Jim Mills looking very disgusted and somebody throwing the ball about, or down rather than about. Witness five, Workington 11. 14 minutes, penalties are well almost about equal, 9 to 8 to Workington. Last season in the second round, Workington beat Witness 8-6, not met this season until today, so there's no stock sheets. Ah, that was a real rollover. Let's go, let one, he missed a couple of easy ones, really easy for him anyway, left leg, scored over half of Workington's points, been a great asset to them, left leg, oh it's a beauty, it's a jam, it's a beauty, Witness do now. Can they pull this out of the fire? The tackling is still as hard, the concentration is there, but the finishing is not. Three tries to one at the moment. Sun's shining beautifully. It'll be shining at midnight tonight, I guess, if working can go through as winners. And the penalty is no good arguing, got to accept it. And they're telling him to come in and get out of the way and get on with the game. Very wise for Corkadale. Good pass. Ooh, what a hard tackle. And the penalty. Penalty take. High tackle. David Collister. Real high tackle. in possession. Ten minutes left to play in this Lancashire Cup final. A long one and a chance here. It would really open everything up if they get it trying to go here. 13 points to five. Short side, blind side, not a knock on, he caught it. Mill. McAdams. The, the, the big the big ball is now going to try to rush in from this point but they're now standing deep so they're going to try and go on his own 
And he's in for a try. In for a try. Dougie Lawton, his second try. Dean sending up and setting up. Witness 8, Workington Town 13. So let's have a look at this one again. The shortness was there. Mick Adams taking the ball and looked as if he was going through. But he got the pass nicely in. Supporting play. Two yards to go, no doubt. Bashed it down. 13 points to 8 and an easy kick. For go. Big work to kick. <laughs> 13. Then witness 10. Workington down 13. Nine minutes to go. And it's going to be a real of a humdinger in this last nine minutes. Plus injury time. Nick Adams, delighted at that movement. Lawton's second try. And interesting with Workington, got three tries today, and 12 tries all together this season. minutes to go on the right witness driving hard is sufficient experience speed and guile to get a three-pointer or even a fire but working them being tucked in so well get one of their laps and after a lot of pressure Walton inexorably coming up to realize that They've got to come up, they've got to throw all the 13 into an attack. Can Workington, being so good today, hold out? Ball loose, but come up nicely for Eric Hughes. This is a chance for right on, if he gets it at the right moment, and he does. He gets it at the right moment, at right, and 13, 13. Well, what a tr transformation. With Aspie running as the ball comes across, coming in. Here it comes with Wright taking it, diving into the corner. 13 13. Stewart Wright, first try after being off with injury, and what an important try it is. Or it was, in the case may be. Nick Burke to kick. Witness 13, working to 13. Nick Burke. Uh, 34 goals this season. The signing from Waterloo Rugby Union will get the freedom, I'm sure, of part of witness. If you to kick this, because it will be a hard blow for Workington. Witness who are on a very, very big bonus. Mickberg kicking. There he is. Looks. Two short steps to the left. Off the distance as much as the accuracy. pull back after leading for most of the game now three tries each working in goal 15 13 five minutes to go a lead for so long 75 minutes and now going behind. Workington, can they do it? But the lot of experienced players on both sides. 
Both sides are feeling for possession of Billy Thompson, the referee, saying it's a scrum down. Walker to be Workington on the left scrum, 10-10. Walker. The craft now and experience of such as Lord Rutter and the strength of Mills. Ray, Ray Wilkins. I don't know. I don't know who's I don't know who's doing the rattle there. But uh, he's got out of memory. He's a hooker with him. He needs it back with him. But the position is right. Can Workington now get back with a try? It's 15 points to 13. And as good a finish in the Lancashire Cup final as we've seen. Coming deep, but losing ground. Ray Wilkins. Three minutes to go. Witness 15, Workington 13. Possession important now for both as defence. Well, it, this is a most exhilarating finish. Whichever way it goes, it's a credit to both teams. Six tries in all, equally shared, but the goal 15-13. Dougie Lawton. Halfway line. Possession is so important, and Lawton and Mills there will know how to deal with it. Big Jim Mills will hold it and pass to the right moment. Two minutes plus injury time in this amazing Lancashire Cup final. Witness 15, Workington 13, Workington Town. Need to move the ball about. Got to take chances now, Workington, come what may. Cup that they'd love to have, and somebody's going to pinch it from him. <laughs> and now come. Well, there's the uh, Foreshaw's Lancashire Cup trophy. It's going to be presented by Mrs. Gilchrist, wife of the chairman of the company, and medals by Mrs. R. Taylor, wife of the Lancashire County president. One minute plus injury time. And BBC Two Floodly Tuesday at Headingley. 10.35 leads in hole. <laughs> Wilkins. There was, a, there was a big reception committee waiting for him if he'd made the burst. Blackwood. Got to get straight, and he does. Peter Gold. Halfway line, and by the possession, and get it played. It's all right, says the referee. Mick Adams. 19. 76, 77, witness 16, Workington 11, witness 15, Workington 13, injury time. Injury time, and there are timekeepers. Billy Thompson has looked at his watch, but a dramatic finish, whichever way it goes now. Inside the Chris Rock to, to the drive. To the drive to have got 
that vital try in the 33rd minute. An awkward up and under, it's a little one, but it's an awkward one. Saved by John Risman, had a good match. Well, the Cambrians will be wondering how it really happened, having had a lead for so long as they did. In front of one state, 13-5. Now that's an awful look. You can never tell how it's 